A gatekeeper here. We got a nice little build here, a little unique build, 4X IRF 520 MOSFET build. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. Finally had some time to do it. What I did is I cloned this little booger right here. This is the first amp that I ever bought. Along the years, I took it out of the case, took a lot of components off of it. Recently, I've done a rebuild to it, and uh, just you know, done it to where it to work outside the box. Soldered SO239, just playing around. Input trimmer, output trimmer. Got it rolling. Only does about 80 watts. With the setup, same setup I'm about to do now. That's all it does. So I want to see if I could uh, pretty much just completely clone it with a couple of changes here and there, see if I can get more out of it, which I did. All right, this right here is the actual, the same exact case, not the, you know, the same case, but the same type case that this was in. And one thing I did not like about that build is the SO239s were on the top right here. The switches and everything and the power wire was on the back right here. So if you wanted to take the top off that particular amp, all that came with it. You couldn't even take the top off pretty much. You could only take it off just to peek in. Now, I didn't like that. The wires were extra long too, you know, and it did uh, seem to cause reflect issues. So I redesigned that to where everything fits on the actual sides of the amp to where the top only harbors the fan. I actually got some banana terminals, the quick disconnect terminals on the back here. First time I ever done that, it was just easier for me to do that. This right here is soldered straight to the ground plane of the board. That right there harbors the power wire. I'm going to be able to put a, a plus and negative up here too, just so, just in case somebody isn't paying attention, they hook it up correctly. There's a protection diode in there, but still. Got the holes right there for the fan. Blows great air. Great air. Turned out really good really good i hope i can have enough time to take these screws off and show you what's inside i am putting it on ebay so uh i will have pictures on ebay but let's get this going so maybe i can have some time before i run out of some space here to take the top off all right we're gonna be putting uh this amp don't weigh a lot y'all bear with me it's trying to slide off here Twenty watts drive. We're on thirteen point eight volts. Let's flip her on. And this puppy blows some air, son. <laughs> God the money. These moffets will say cool. I know it's gonna be that fast, that loud. I would have backed it down a little bit, but hey. The thing's gonna stay good and cool, that's what matters the most. Alrighty, we're on 13.8 volts, 20 watts of drive. Oh, che 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 No, oh, three watt dead key, three four watt dead key, one seventy five. Audio, audio. Let me show you the reflect. We want ten watt slug. The ten is ten watts. The I mean, excuse me, the hundred is ten watts. Come on, focus in. Forty is four watts. Twenty is two. Look at that, hundred milliwatts, hundred milliwatts, perfect input tune. Audio, 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 Oh, che, 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 come on, almost busting 200 watts. Audio, 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 Almost busting 200 watts. Che, 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 audio, 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 Come on, let's say 200. Audio, 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 Woo, that's 100 more watts. Let me say, let me get technical. That's 90. 
eight more watts than I was expecting, y'all. I was want, I was wanting to just get 100 watts. If I could have got this thing to do 100 watts, I was happy. So I am very happy with the outcome of that. I did do a few things differently than this right here. As you see, there's no cap on the output or the input. I do have a cap on the output, and that's what done a little bit of the trick, along with a few other things. So I'm very happy with that. I'm going to cut the power off, see if we can't get this top off real quick. One moment. Now y'all bear with me. Yeah, while I'm taking this off, y'all can still hear me. Anybody that's needing transformers, step down transformers, base boxes, power supplies, etc. I get some very, 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 I say very good deals. Way cheaper than what you don't normally are going to find on the internet. 25, 35, 45, 50, 70 amp, 100 amp transformers. If you're interested, private message me or email me at T-H-R-E-E-M-A-N-P-R-O-3-MAN-PRO at gmail.com. We only got two more screws left here. So that's 3manpro at gmail.com if you're interested. Let me know and we'll figure out some prices. One more screw. Come on, phone. Don't run out of no. Don't run out of memory. <laughs> All right. All righty. Here we go. Let her focus again. Take this light away. There we go. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, this does have automatic sideband. And uh, I think this would be a very nice little amp for sideband. And while you're taking a look at this, one thing I've noticed about these MOSFETs amp, MOSFET amps, they do have low dead keys. I've noticed that about them. I got three or four of them myself. They all have pretty low dead keys. But they still sound very nice that way. That's one thing I've noticed. That's some reports I'm getting on this one as well. Same thing if you're running a radio with a 1 watt dead key swinging 40 watts, swinging 50 watts. And you see, you know, people say you sound fine. Well, this one right here was just giving me a uh, three to four watt dead key swinging about 160 on low, I believe it was, on the regular voltage. And that's what a one watt going into it, one and a half. But, you know, you can up the dead key. Just be real careful. Don't put a lot of dead key into these MOSFETs. You don't want one of these puppers, puppies catching on uh, fire on you now. <laughs> These puppies will blow now. Just like anything, they can't take a, a beating like transistors can, pills. So, you know, you don't want a dead key, tremendous amount in them. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know something I don't. I cannot tell you what's the highest that I would go. I can't. This is something I'm going to have to play around with. This is a new area for me. I just had something I could use over here to clone. I did it. Did it a little bit better than the clone itself. I'm happy about that. There she be. There's a uh, TX LED on the front. Like I said, we've got automatic sideband. Individually tuned the output. And the input with trimmers. Then we mic them in. And as well, this mystery cap right here. I got to keep something for myself, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I keep something for myself now, y'all. Ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? Nah, I'm just kidding with y'all. It's a 50 peak affair. I won't keep nothing from y'all fellas. Y'all play around with these MOSFETs. Tell me what you find. Anybody that does know about these 520s, I know it's the 7530s people know a lot more about. But I'm kind of interested in the 520s right now because I got about 350 of them to play around with. 50 cent a pop is what I got them for. 
If there's anybody that watches this video that knows anything about 520s, maybe how I could AB bias them, maybe how I could improve the bias, and maybe how, what am I missing here? Am I missing anything here, fellas? You know, how, how much is this from being completely com uh, complete, you know, good high quality efficient amp? What am I missing? What can I do different? Y'all holler at me, hit me up, give me some hints. I appreciate it, big time. Maybe somebody can explain exactly what this is doing. I understand it's kind of the component set, but there again, you know, these aren't pills, so maybe these are acting like feedback circuits for MOSFETs, I don't know. Maybe this works in conjunction with the 10 ohm so they won't go in the thermal runaway. I do not know, but I would like to know. So anybody that knows these 520s, I've seen a couple of people's built like 2x8s and 2x16s. I'm going to throw together an 8 520 next and see how that goes. And then I'm going to throw together a 16 after that. And then I'd like to throw a 32 together. And maybe even work up to a 64 IRF 520, what you think. But, you know, I'm going to make sure I know what I'm doing with these boogers. Because I don't want to have 64 of these cotton pickers catching on fire on me. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. It is pretty crammed. Everything's pretty crammed, but everything fits like a glove. Mr. Gatekeeper said that. We got a big ice storm coming, so I'm going to go in and get prepared for it. Mr. Gatekeeper, bringing one more device to the world of sound to let other people get down. We gone.